What's up guys, it's Ekracoon back with another video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about what's better for editing, a laptop or a PC. In this video example, I'm mostly going to be using Adobe Premiere because that's what I use most often. But I have used DaVinci Resolve on my PC itself and I won't really be getting into the stats of that because I haven't tested it out on the laptop. But you can still use the Premiere Pro stats to kind of get an understanding of where things sit. But just before I do begin with the comparison, Adobe Premiere Pro is much more intensive on the CPU and barely uses the graphics card. Recently they have been updating to use the graphics card more so maybe in the future they'll use graphics cards more but for now it's mostly CPU intensive so that's why I'm going to be mostly focusing on the CPU performance of a PC and a laptop. Not as much the graphics card but I will cover that a little bit. So the laptop and PC I've been using for this comparison for me at least is quite a budget and laptop and PC. My PC only costs about $800 or so and it has an i5-4570 which is a CPU that's clocked at a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz to a boost of 3.6 gigahertz and it's a four core four threaded processor. The performance itself is just a bit better than the i7 I'm using in this laptop here which is a Dell Inspiron 5520 I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure but I think it's a 5520 and it's got an i7-3612QM which has four cores and eight threads with a base clock of 2.1 gigahertz and I'm not exactly sure on the boost clock but I do know the Cinebench R20 score on the laptop itself is around 1100 and on the i5 it's about 1250 and higher is better on Cinebench R20 so it is quite a bit better but then since this Inspiron here doesn't have an NVIDIA graphics card, I am running an older version of Adobe Premiere Pro so it doesn't take full advantage of that and doesn't use the graphics card as much. While on the PC at home, it has a NVIDIA GTX 770 which gets used by the PC a bit for the render times but I do have render times without the graphics card to give you an idea of how things work. So let me start with the statistics I've been getting with my setup here. The laptop with the i7-3612QM renders a 4K video in around 13 to 15 minutes. It can actually get more than that if there's a lot more Lumetri color grades and different cuts and transitions in there, then it will start to slow down. Well, with the i5 system I have at home, the PC, it does a 4K video in about 10 minutes, that's five minutes long. That also has to do with the graphics card itself, which is helping it along in the PC. Because without the graphics card, the i5 system renders a 10 minute video in around 11 to 13 minutes. So it is still faster, but it isn't that much of a difference compared to with a graphics card. So having a NVIDIA graphics card is quite of a help. And even with Adobe's new update, they don't really optimize that well for AMD graphics card still, which is what this computer here has. If you're into DaVinci Resolve, they do use quite an equal proportion between graphics card and CPU. So that is also free as well. If you're wondering, it's a great free editor, which I would recommend trying out at least. And so that one uses quite an equal parts on both. So if you do have a good graphics card, but that's AMD, then probably go for DaVinci Resolve because that's more optimized for AMD graphics cards as well. So for my personal comparison, you can see how the results are. But of course, with PC and laptops, they're all configured differently. So I can't speak for everyone. You'll have to do testing yourself if you have two systems you want to compare. But I'm just going to say like this, a PC will most cases be better if they're from the same year with the highest specs from that year because a PC just has much more thermal headroom which allows the components inside to be a lot faster while a laptop is limited by its size and so it's just kind of how physics works it's just thermally limited so in most cases I would personally recommend going for a PC because they're just better value for money as well especially if you have a look at this I have a pre-built here from Dell which has an i7-4790 and the whole system itself costs around $350 while the laptop I have here which costs quite a bit more it costs $500 for this laptop that thing actually has a lot worse performance the Cinebench R20 score on the i7-4790 is about $1800 while this one has an $1100 so you can clearly see that price to performance a PC is always 
is going to be better. But of course, if you travel, then a laptop is just going to be the better option. So in conclusion, I can't speak for everyone, but I'd say in most cases, a PC is better, especially if you're settled at home. If you're not, if you need to travel a lot, which now in these times you probably don't, but in the future, if you do need to travel, then a laptop is just going to be the better option for you. But if you want the best price to performance, a PC is better. And if you want the best performance you can physically get, a PC is going to be better in every case. So ho hopefully this clears any queries and questions you had. And if you do have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer every single one. And with that said, if you did enjoy the video, drop a like on the video. If you didn't, drop a dislike. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.